I'm assuming you're wondering why I'm in a ZL1 Camaro with a hot female sitting next to me. Well, I'll introduce you to her. This is Stephanie, this is my girlfriend. Um, she's coming along for the ride and that's, you know, she had her day off today, so she's coming along for the ride for what we're doing in this Camaro. Um, basically, a little backstory on this Camaro. This individual, his name's Reese, uh, met Nick when I was working on his ZL1 and, and making his power and put his cam in and all that stuff. And um, he was up here at that point in time, came and met Nick. He was a big fan of Nick's, you know, Nick's YouTube page and Instagram and stuff. And uh, wanted to come up here and meet him and see the car and, and hear the car run. This individual came up, met Nick, really liked the way his car sound with the cam. And he owned a 2014 ZL1 uh, in yellow, which is what we are in right now. Um, he told me, he's like, you know, when I'm ready, I'm coming to you for the work. I'm going to have you do a cam. You do everything to the car that you need to do to make power. I was like, all right, give me a shot when you're ready. Well, here we are. He actually called me up. He lives in Mississippi and had his car shipped up here on a car carrier to the shop for me to do all this work to his car. Now, the one thing he requested was dyno numbers before and obviously after on the tune when the car is done to see the comparison of how much horsepower the cam and uh, you know what we're doing to the car, which I'll explain in a minute, uh, will gain. So currently what we're doing right now is we're going to Keith's Pit Stop in Gettysburg, VA. There'll be a link in the description so you guys can check him out. He's a cool, cool dude. Um, we're going there because that's where the car is going to initially be dynoed as well and tuned. So we figured why not use the same exact dyno instead of some closer dyno um, that's not going to be the same dyno that we're using for the tuning. So we decided to go to this dyno instead. Um, the guy that's going to be tuning it obviously is going to be Jeremy Fumato. I'm going to put a street tune in it for this, for this individual and then we're going to be making an appointment in October for the full dyno tune setup. Um, and Jeremy Fumato is going to be doing the Dino Tune on the car itself to really bring out all the horsepower numbers. The guy is phenomenal when it comes to LSA motors and the new LT4s and the supercharged, supercharged engine. Jeremy Fumato is the man when it comes to tuning. He is the man. And that's why I like to use him. Um, but I'll put his description stuff, all his information. I think he has an Instagram as well and a YouTube and a website. I'll put that all down in the description as well for him. Now. Here's, you know, now we get to the cake of the, of the conversation. Um, there will be video of the car dynoing. Uh, we'll have a picture of the dyno sheet after we're done today. Um, this video will be posted up today or tomorrow. Um, and then as the work gets done, I'll make another video. And as the dyno gets done, I'll make another video, but I won't post them up immediately. I'll post them up pretty much together or within a day or so of each other. That way you guys don't have to wait three weeks, four weeks, whatever it takes between the time it's built to the time it gets dynoed and you see numbers. The car is getting a cam, obviously. Um, it's getting a custom ported and polished uh, blower snout, and it's also getting a, a throttle body that's done as well. It's getting the heat reduction plates made by Fast for Proms, which is Jeremy Fumato. It's getting the 2.31 the pulley made by Jared Fumato as well. It's also getting that pulley as well, which should get us up to about 14, 15 PSI on the boost on this guy. Um, the car currently is on a stock tune. The only thing I did to this tune, the only thing, no lie, I went in, I deleted the cat codes, the rear O2 sensor codes, and I raised the speed limiter up. And, uh, you know, just emission stuff. That's all I've done to this car. I did not change the timing. I did not change fuel. I did not do anything that's gonna affect the tunability of it. Um, currently, the car has a cold air intake on it, long tube Cook's headers, if I remember correctly, off-road uh, X-pipe, and a stock cap back, a stock CL1 cap back. Like I said, not tuned for it. Um, we're gonna stick it on the dyno. We're gonna safely check air fuel to see where we're at. Um, and see what kind of air fuel we're running. If it's in the safe zone, we're gonna leave it alone and, and, and uh, you know, make the pull and see what happens, see what kind of numbers this thing puts down. The cam is gonna be a variation of my Hellraiser cam, which I've used in the NA cars, and unfortunately was the cam I wanted to use for Nick's car, but you know, with Nick's car having a timeline that we did on it, I wasn't able to get it in enough of time and with the grind and everything. The good luck part here is, 
this car is getting that cam. Alright, as you can see, we're here at Keith's Pit Stop. The car is on the dyno. As you can see up there, he's strapping everything down, getting everything ready. And uh, we're going to do a few pulls here and see what this thing puts down. Stock format, like I said before. Just exhaust and coder intake, no tune whatsoever. And uh, give us a good baseline that we'll have before we start doing all the modifications that we're going to do to it. So, uh, here you go. Alright guys, well, the dyno's over, we did three pulls on the dyno, and the final numbers are 548 wheel, wheel horsepower, 533 foot-pounds of torque at the wheels. It's a six-speed car, like I said before, no tune whatsoever on this car, literally, no tune. Everything's still in it, the torque management's still in it, the freaking stock tables are still in it. All I did, like I stated before, was... Um, take out codes and eliminate like the cat codes, the rear O2 sensors, stuff of that nature that you need to, you know, turn the check engine light, that engine light off. That's all I've done. Um, so it's pretty impressive numbers. One thing we didn't notice was, as you can see by the dyno sheet, um, when I post that up here, put that in, in this video, um, you'll see it, it is running a little rich when we get to about 4,500 RPM, it dips down into the 11.3, 11.2 range. So, I mean, as you can tell, there is a lot of improvement just in the tune by itself there's a ton of improvement um not really sure what the boost was at since i wasn't in the car dynoing of course but i'm assuming it was going to be close to stock boost um but yeah there you have it we're gonna head back to the shop now and uh stick this guy in the shop and we're gonna start uh and people are calling me we'll talk to him later um, <laughs> every every time, every time I make a video, somebody wants to call me. Every single freaking time. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Anyways, we're on our way back to the shop right now. We're going to put the car back in. And 
now we're able to start tearing this thing apart and really see uh, you know the mods that we're gonna do to it and I'll have a whole video of that like I said before um, that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed Steph um, but we're out of here so uh, don't forget to please subscribe to the videos click that subscribe button um, if you want to keep updated for what this thing's gonna put down in the end you're gonna want to subscribe this is something you're not gonna want to miss out on follow me on Facebook Diablo Formula Racing I'll have all the links in the description down below Instagram Diablo Formula Racing as well um, hit that shit up all right guys deuces <laughs>